I'm going to start the sequence today kneeling. If you're uncomfortable kneeling, you could sit cross-legged or you could um, put blocks, as many blocks as you like, underneath your seat. I've got two. So my knees are quite close together. I'm sitting back behind in between my feet. And then start by just resting your hands on your legs as if to ground and settle and to arrive into your space, all that you are today. And you might think about what it is you want to welcome into your body, into your experience in this moment. Breathing it in and out. So thinking of your breath as carrying your intention as we move throughout our practice. Once you've set your intention, gently smile your eyes to open, release your arms down and shrug your shoulders up to your ears. You elevate your shoulders as much as you can. And then drop your shoulders down to press the shoulders, press them down as much as you can. And then find that kind of middle place where they feel a bit easier and the arms are just hanging by your sides. Stick with that, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. I'm mirroring you for this. And then bringing your hand over your head, finding the tip of your ear, and just guiding yourself into a deeper stretch. If it feels too much, back off. Take a breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, turning your cheek up towards the sunlight or up to the ceiling. And as you breathe out, roll your chin down towards your armpit. And you can use your finger pads to massage the palpate the base of the skull. From here, bring your face back to where it was in that beginning stretch. Bring your right hand to your cheek and let your head and your cheek fall into your hand to just settle for a moment. Feeling the weight of your bones can be really uplifting. Feeling into the weight of you. You feel this kind of reciprocal lightness. And release your arm down. Bring your arms forward, breathe in. And bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Place your hands together or hold your shoulders, depending. Press your palms away from you. Lift your elbows up to the top of the sternum, the breastbone. Breathe in through the nose. And as you exhale, drawing your elbows down. And as you do this, accompany it with a back bend. So breathing in, chest rising up. Little back bend. And as you exhale, curling in, navel drawing in, chin towards your chest. One more, inhale, elbows up. And exhale, elbows in. Come to that middle place and bring your hands over to the left side and drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Teeth soft, jaw soft. One more, full breath. And slowly coming back up, reach your arms up over your head, take a breath in through your nose. As you exhale, bring the left arm out to the side and roll your arm in and turn and rotate the arm, bring your hand up your back, bring your right hand down your back and find either your hands or your t-shirt. Stay here for a moment. Just soften your front ribs, soften your breastbone and you might close your eyes and breathe some awareness into your heart space front of your heart, the sides, the back of the heart, feeling full, alive with breath. And release your arms down. Before we do the other side, if you have a strap, you could use a strap or a stretchy band or a towel. It's going to reach the arms up, inhale. And as you exhale, take a bit more of the strap and bring your arms back. It's really important that you don't dislocate your shoulders, so keep it nice and even and balanced. It's waking up some of the lymph in the armpits and across the chest. Many of us are tight here at the moment from sitting at desks, so this is a great thing to do. Just also be mindful that you don't jerk your chin out, draw your chin slightly back, take a bit more of the strap, bring your arms back a bit further. And then inhale, come back up and release. So do that the other side. So let your arms release and hang, and then left ear to left shoulder. If this is enough, stay or bring your hand over your head and guide your left ear towards your shoulder. Soften your jaw, relax your tongue. 
And then as you inhale, lifting your cheek up towards the sunlight, up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, as you breathe out, roll your chin down towards your armpit. Take a moment here, feeling quite strong stretch in the upper trapezius on the right side. Bring your face back to that first place. Place your left hand to your cheek, falling your head into your hand. Let your head relax, let your cheek, your jaw relax. And then bring your head back to upright. Inhale, reach your arms forwards. And as you exhale, left arm underneath your right arm, press your palms away, lift your elbows up, inhale. As you exhale, draw your elbows in and down. As you inhale, open up your chest. It's like a cat and cow movement. Exhale, rounding here like an angry cat, chin to chest. One more, elbows lift. And then as you exhale, settle somewhere in the centre. Bring your hands over to the right and then left ear to left shoulder. Take a few moments here, feeling and coming into contact with the stretch down the side of your neck making sure it's not painful. If it's a little uncomfortable, that's okay, but never painful. And then slowly face back to the center, release your arms. Inhale, reach your arms out to the side and up. As you exhale, right arm to the side, roll your arm in, bring your head up your back, left hand down your back, find your fingers, your t-shirt or a strap. Breathe right up into your armpit. And if you're very bent, just make sure that your elbow doesn't overcross your center. Keep your elbow in line with your shoulder and your hip. Soften your breastbone, soften your ribs, and then release your arms down. Okay, this time, come off your blocks. You can do away with your strap and peel your fingers back. Tuck your toes, sit back into your heels. And if this kind of triggers some stuff in your mind, in your emotions, you might take a big breath in through your nose and stick your tongue out. <sighs> Lion's breath. And again, a big breath in. Lion's breath out. <sighs> One more. And a lion's breath out. <sighs> Slowly walking yourself back and come back to all fours, so hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, rock right to left. Place your hands more towards the outer edges of your shoulders. And then as you exhale, step your knee, knees back a bit, walk your hands forwards, and come into a puppy stretch, so your forehead comes to rest on the ground. You've got this lovely feeling of extension, arms reaching out of the back of the waist. Sit bones wide, and this is a good alternative for downward dog, if that's not possible. For those of you happy to come to downward dog, breathing in, pad your hands in, and as you breathe out, downward facing dog, lifting your hips high to the ceiling and release your head down. If you like those lion's breaths, take three more. Inhale through your nose. Lion's breath out one. And again, inhale. Two. One more. And lion's breath out for three. Come down onto your knees. Stretch your right leg straight back behind you. And left arm forwards. Now do the same arm and leg as you from now. Unless I'm facing you for standing later. We're going to reach the left arm forwards, the right leg back. As you exhale, curl in elbow towards your knee. And again, inhale, reaching out. That cat and cow again. Exhale, here's your angry cat. Try to round in, navel descends to one more inhale. And exhale, curling in three. Place your hands down. You might come up onto your fingertips, you've got a bit more space. Step your foot forwards between your hands. Come up onto your fingertips, tuck your left toes, lift your back knee, and then open up your chest, open up your heart, your throat, your face, breathe in. And as you exhale, Lengthen your right leg. Please don't worry if your right leg doesn't straighten. If it does quite comfortably, you could peel your toes back towards your face. 
and slide the right thigh back into the crease of the head. And then keep going, breathing in, chest rising up. And exhaling, bowing down over your right leg. One more, breathing in. And exhale, lengthening your leg. Inhale, bending your knee lower to your left knee. You might want to fold or flick the mat over so you've got extra cushioning. Either toes pointed or tucked, whichever you prefer. Cross your thumbs, reach up, hugging a little through the hips. And then from here, bursting your heart open, opening up through your chest, reaching up through the arms and drawing across the ceiling with your fingertips. One more breath, and your anatomy. Exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Unflick the mat. From here, straighten your leg, hands inside of the right leg, turn to face the long edge of your mat, big toes in, heels out, and walk your hands forward and release your head down. So you've got that lovely feeling of space in your lower back. Once again, release your head. You close your eyes if you like to, and land your breath. And then turning yourself to the other side of your mat and step back into downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, there's four parts to this. We're going to lift up onto our toes with straight legs, one. Bend the knees, this is two, sit bones wide. Rebound and lift up so legs are straight, we're high on our toes, that's three. And then the center of the heels are moving away from the front of the feet and down to the ground, that's four. And again, inhale, lifting up, one. Bending your knees, that's two. There's this rebound up onto your toes, long legs, three, and then heels towards the ground. That's four. And come onto your knees and stretch your left leg straight back behind you. Reach forward with your right arm. Inhale through your nose and exhale, curling in. Inhale, reaching out from your center. And exhale, curling in two. One more, inhale, reaching out. Exhale, curling in three. You might come up onto finger pads to make more space and set the foot forward between your hands. Tuck your back toes, breathe in. And as you exhale, lift your back knee away from the mat. Open your chest, breathe in. As you exhale, lengthening the left leg. Might be a little bit, might be a lot. If it's a lot, maybe Peel your toes back and hug the left thigh back into the crease of the hip. Inhale, bend your knee, chest rising up. And exhale, rocking back to one more. And rocking back three. Bend your knee, lower down to your right knee. Point your toes or tuck your toes, whichever you prefer, cross the other. Thumb in front, reach up and back, and your nasa, open your chest, open your heart. One more breath. And exhale, hands inside of the front foot. Lift your back knee, turn to face the side. And this time, just checking that the outer edges of the feet are in line with the mat. Hands around either the calves, ankles, or heels. Reach your head down. Let's give your head a shake. Shake away any doubt, any fear, anything that might be holding you back from being here fully. And then from here, walk your toes to what was the front of your mat to step back, your hand facing duck. And just slowly pad the hands back to the feet, puppy pause, release your head, hands behind your head, cradle your head. Big breath out, blubber your lips. That felt good. One more. Breathe out, blubber your lips. And then slowly roll that one vertebra at a time, gently coming up to standing. At the very top here, interlace your fingers and slide your hands down your back. Get really open through your chest. Lift up onto your toes. Stretch your hands back a little bit further. Think of lifting your heels away. And moving the heels away from one another. And then as you exhale, bend your knees and fold forwards, down forwards, release your head down. On an inhale breath, hands to shins, look forwards, chest rising up. 
And as you exhale, slowly padding your hands forwards, come back into downward facing dog. Okay, so lift the right leg up, reaching back and lengthen the right leg away from you. Think of stretching from your belly, cross your thighs, feel that really nice extension in the hip. And then step the right foot forwards quietly between your hands. Coming up into a high lunge as you inhale. Then opening up and out to warrior two as you exhale. So back heel lands and grounds. And just in warrior two, turn your back toes in, roll the left hip in, and then reach out through the arms like wings. Bend your right knee a little deeper. Spend one more breath in. And exhale, then reach forwards with your right arm, slide your left hand down your leg, bring your hand behind your head, and reach up through the tip of your elbow. Get a little bit more space in the right side body. Last full breath here. And then from the arches of your, of your feet, begin to lengthen your right leg. Lengthen the right leg if you maybe a deeper stretch across the side seam. One more breath. So you exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot. Come onto the ball of your back foot. Place your left palm down, lift your right arm up. And there's options to stay here. If you'd like to come into a modified side plank, roll onto the hard edge of your left foot, heel toe, the right foot halfway down the mat. And then sweep your arm over your head, just spending a couple more moments here. And then this final option to skip the right leg over the left leg, come onto the ball of the foot. And really mindfully opening up into a back bend. One more breath. As you exhale, bring your right hand down. Let's all step the foot forwards between the hands and turn to face the side of the room. <laughs> Big toes in, heels out. And then again, forward fold. This time interlace your fingers, the same interlace you just were in when you were at the back of your mat. Release your head. Make some space as you breathe in. Maybe softening as you breathe out. Not pushing to go any deeper, just allowing the shoulders to soften, the neck to release, the jaw to relax. And then releasing your hands, turning yourself towards the back edge of your mat and stepping back down with facing up. The dancing around the mat like this I find helpful when I need a change of perspective. Pad your hands back towards your feet. And it's nice if you're living in a small space, those of you who have been self-isolating for a while, this will hopefully feel quite nice to take up some space. And then rolling up one vertebra at a time, coming all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. This time interlace your fingers and turn the palms of your hands up towards the ceiling. And just wriggle your ribs off your pelvis. Stay where you are and lift up onto your toes as high as you can. Heels moving a bit apart. Exhale, bend your knees, interlace your fingers behind you and fold forwards, fold forwards. And hands to shins, look forwards, chest rising up. And exhale, walking your hands forwards, puppy paws, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And that amazing poet, Mary Oliver, she talks about the soft animal of the body. So feeling more animal, stepping your foot forwards between your hands. Breathing in the breath, filling you up, carrying you into a high lunge. Opening up and out into Viradrasana 2, and staying here for a moment. So quite balanced with your torso between your legs. Back leg strong, back toes slightly in. Inhale, as you exhale, back hand down your back leg, reach up with your top arm and hand cradles your head. Begin to lengthen your left leg from that lift through the arches of your left foot. Last breath. As you exhale, cart all your hands to frame your front foot. Come onto the ball of the back foot. You can place your palm down and unfurl through the left arm. And the option to stay. Come into a side plank variation. Sweep your arm over your head. Rainbow your rib cage up to the ceiling. Maybe stepping the foot over your leg and opening up into your back bend. It's freeing up your waist, your chest. One more breath. And as you exhale, curl back in and step the foot forwards between the hands with control. Turn to face the side. 
And this time, bring your feet in closer, heels in, toes out, bend your knees and sit down for force. And rock right to left. So knees are tracking over your toes. Great. Release your arms down. As you inhale, reach out and up. And as you exhale, bring your hands down through your center. Press your palms together. And again, inhale, reaching out and up. And exhale, sitting down. One more, reaching out and up. And exhale, sitting down. Then hands onto your thighs, rock right to left. We come into a twist, breathe in, chest rising. One shoulder forwards and turning your face to the side, maybe towards the back. Inhale, come back to the center. Just be mindful of your knees being over your toes. Exhale, twisting. One more, each side. Exhale, twisting. Last one, big breath in. And exhale, twisting. Inhale, come back to the center. Heel, turn the feet in even a bit closer and come into a squat to the lasana. Hands to the center of your chest. And you can always. Drop your heels onto a towel, a rolled up towel or blocks, and then quiet your gaze. Eyes nice and soft. One more breath. As you exhale, come to sit down, stretch your legs forwards, give them a good stretch, press out through your heels, and roll your thigh bones in. Hands can slide down your thighs, maybe your shins, perhaps to your feet. Breathing in, lifting your chest. I've got my feet in line with my hips. Exhale, release. And release your head. Nice to have your head supported, so maybe grab a block or a book and place it underneath your forehead. If you have none of those things to hand, you could just simply rest your forehead in the palms of the hands, support your elbows resting on your shins. Just two more breaths here, breathing into the back of your body. Coming back up. So it feels incredibly uplifting to come into the contact with your breath again. Bend your right leg in, I'll mirror you from here. Open the leg out, interlace your fingers, pick up the foot, cradle the leg. Feeling how we're put together, our own individual design. But can you really trust that your design is, is perfect just as it is? So you're not pushing and trying to be anything other. Okay, bring the leg across. So in Ardagon Mukhasana, legs. And I'm twisting over my front shin, walking the hands forwards. I'm releasing my head, relax your head, relax your jaw. And close your eyes as we come to your floor floor practice, maybe just slowing down the exhale phase of the breath. And slowly come back up. I'm a big believer in short, short practices and doing them often. Slide the leg forward, slide the left leg in. So if this is making you feel good, you might consider just doing a little bit of something every day. It doesn't have to be much. Stir your heel in and out. And that might be all that's manageable at the moment. And that's brilliant. From here, bring the leg across and go Mukhasana. And the thighs are quite snug. My foot here or to the side is dorsiflex, so I'm on the high edge of my foot. And that helps me to feel less in my knee, more in my hip. So if you're worried about your knee, try that. Hand over your front shin and release your head. Release your head. Slowing down your exhale breath. Enjoying this dropping into a more quiet, steady place. And then slowly coming back up. Bring your leg forwards. From here, open your legs out to the side. It might be a little bit, it might be a lot. It doesn't matter. It's just what feels right for your body. You can always sit up on a block if that's more appropriate for you. And then hands in front of you. Just start to circle around your hands. 
but freeing up the rib cage, Smudging around your hands. Move in the other direction. If you have longer, you can stay in this little flow a bit longer and just let the movement be really intuitive. Settling somewhere in the center, bringing your hand to the side, sweeping your arm over your head, similar to what we did at the beginning. Let your ear fall towards your shoulder, bring your hand behind your head. And then from here, elbow lifts, chest lifts, breathe in. And stay as you breathe out. Think of sending your heels away from you, spread out through your toes. Breathe right up into the upper lobe of the lung, all the way over the collarbone. Under and over. And then unzip the side seam of the body, reaching your arm. As you exhale, come all the way back up. And the other side, so hand to the side, ear towards the shoulder. Right arm over your head, hand behind your head. Let your head settle back into your hand. Legs nice and long. Spread your arm away from you. Okay. One more breath. And slowly, slowly coming back up. Bend your knees in. And catch your feet. And just be mindful if you're uh, particularly living alone and there's a wall behind you, don't be too close to it. Press your feet into your hands, don't want to bang your heads. Press your feet away. And then grow the front of your chest a little bit longer, more spacious. Maybe from here, take a long blink. Close your eyes. And release. Bend your legs in. Bring the soles of the feet down to the ground. Better come to lie on our backs. If you have a block or a couple of magazines, just have them handy. Come to a supported bridge. So we lift our hips, bring them. Lock underneath your lower back and then stretch your legs forwards. Bring your arms over your head and just stay here for a moment. This is great for your digestive system. You can catch hold of your elbows if you like that and get quite active through the feet. If you like that feeling of pointy toes, and go ahead. And I like to reflect at this shape. Where would I like to be more open in my life? In a particular relationship with someone or my job or something to do with creativity. Release, bend your knees and come back down. We'll come to lie in Shavasana, so legs out, arms out. But if this makes you feel anxious, lie on your tummy instead. If you have a cushion or a bolster, you could lie forwards over the bolster. So this is really nice if you're just feeling a little bit anxious. Lie forwards over the bolster, face is free, forehead resting on the block. And then feel how your body is in contact with the ground or with the support that you've chosen and allow yourself to sink into that support so sink into the support if you feel like you're a little bit light or tentative can you tune into where you feel that and allow yourself and allow your bones to get heavier Can you experience the fullness of your body, the aliveness of your body as it rests? Can you quiet the narrative, the story that's looping if there is one, and trust in the feeling, the feeling of your body dropping? Try to rest here for at least another three minutes and let your body decide when it's ready to come out. Thank yourself for your efforts today, for practicing just a little bit of something.
to bring you back to balance. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you very soon.